What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to cut shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see on my screen I have Illustrator up and running and on my document I have three squares here. So what I'll be doing is showing you guys the three different tools you can use to cut shapes in Illustrator and then I'm going to show you guys another way to cut shapes in Illustrator. So let's get started. So one tool you can use to cut shapes in Illustrator is the eraser tool. So I'm going to use the eraser tool on this purple square here. I'm going to go and grab my eraser tool which would be right here. And then I'm just going to draw through this shape and just create just like a, like a drawing out of this shape here. And then I'm going to keep going until I get to the end of this square. Alright, and now I'm going to grab my black arrow tool, my selection tool here. And you can see that based on the drawing that I made with the eraser tool that separates the two parts of this square. But let's say you want to make a straight line out of the eraser tool. So I'm going to select this one part of the square that we just cut. I'm going to go back to my eraser tool. And then to make a straight line with the eraser tool, I'm going to hold the shift key and just simply draw a straight line like so. And then the same goes for vertical lines too. So let me grab my eraser tool one more time, hold the shift key, and make a line that goes straight down like this. And you can see that we created a straight cut out of that one shape. So the eraser tool is one way to cut shapes in Illustrator. So let me show you another tool you can use to cut shapes in Illustrator. So the scissors tool works similar to us using the shift key and making a straight line with the eraser tool, but instead you can use the scissors tool to cut out diagonal lines on your shape. Let me show you. So with my scissors tool, I can now select one point on this square. Like I'm gonna click on this part of my path here and I created an anchor point on that square. So now I'm gonna go anywhere else within this square and I'm gonna select right here. So I'm gonna click there. And now I'm going to go back and grab my selection tool, this black arrow. And you can see that I made a straight diagonal cut on this square. But if you take a look at this square specifically, you can see that it has a stroke to it. And after I made this cut, that stroke where we cut, it's not there anymore. But there is a workaround for that. So I'm going to click on one of these shapes here. And then I'm going to go to my shape builder tool, which would be right here, like right under the scissors tool. It would look like this. Okay, and then if I hover over that shape, you can see that it has sort of like a dotted pattern to it, like a noisy kind of texture to it. But that's okay because it'll disappear in a second. So I'm going to click anywhere in it. And you can see that the stroke now applied to where we cut. So if you do treat that as an issue, then there's a workaround. But yeah, that is how you use the scissors tool to cut out shapes in Illustrator. So now let me switch to the red square and show you guys another tool you can use to cut out shapes in Illustrator. So if I go back to my scissors tool, I'm going to click and hold on that and I'm going to select the knife tool. Or if for whatever reason the knife tool is not showing up in your tools panel here, we're going to go all the way to the bottom where these three dots are. And just scroll through until you see an icon that looks like our knife tool which would be this. And then after you find it, we're going to click and drag that onto our tools panel or at least right here where the eraser tool might be or the scissors tool. And then you can just go from there. So my opinion on the knife tool, it's sort of like a combination between the eraser tool and the curvature tool if you ever use that in Illustrator. But the curvature tool would look like this, like the pen icon with like a little curve on it like so. It would look like this. So if you ever use this tool, the knife tool is a lot similar to that. But the reason I'd say it's similar to the eraser tool is because you can create a freelance path to cut out a shape. So let me show you. So having my knife tool selected, I'm now going to go to this red square here. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to create a specified path to create a cut. Now if you look at this red line that the knife tool is leaving behind, you can see that this sort of path here, it looks like a path I could create out of the pen tool or the curvature tool. So now after getting to the other side of this square, I can lift up off my trackpad. And now I'm going to grab my selection tool real quick. And you can see that the knife tool created a cut. But not only did the knife tool create a cut on this square, it also created anchor points, which we can't see yet. 
So I'm gonna select this one shape right here. And then I'm gonna go to my direct selection tool, which would be this white arrow here. And we can now see all the anchor points that the knife tool created. So just like I would any anchor point in Adobe Illustrator, I can now manipulate that. And they each have handles, so we can now uh, manipulate the curves on these anchor points as well. Like so. But yeah, those are the three tools you can use to cut shapes in Illustrator. But now it's time for me to show you guys another way to cut shapes in Illustrator. And it involves using the Shape Builder tool. So I'm going to go to my Shape tool, which would be right here. And I'm going to use this Star tool right here. Okay, and I'm going to click and drag to create a star, like so. I'm going to drag it into this square. All right, and now I'm going to select both the square and the star by clicking anywhere and highlighting both of them, like so. And then I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool that I showed you earlier. It looks like this. All right, and with both the square and the star selected, I can either create a cutout of a star within this square, or I can select this star with the Shape Builder tool and it won't really do anything to it. So what I'm gonna do is create a star cutout in this square. So I'm gonna click like so, and you can see that it didn't really do anything yet, but it actually did do something. We just haven't seen any results yet. So now I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna select this star, and I'm gonna get rid of it. Or if you want to, you can move it anywhere else in your document, that's up to you. But I'm gonna delete it, so I'm gonna hit the backspace or delete button. And I'm gonna do that one more time. And you can see that Illustrator created a cutout of that star inside of this square. And you can really do that with any shape, so let me try that one more time. So I'm gonna grab, uh, let's say the polygon tool. So I'm gonna click and drag, like so. And then I'm going to move that to the center. All right. And now I'm going to select both the square and the hexagon. So I'm going to click anywhere and just highlight them like so. All right. And now go back to my shape builder tool. And now I'm going to select the area that I want to create a cutout with, which would be this yellow part or this yellow area. So I'm going to click. Or if you want to select several other shapes, you can click and drag and it'll create a red border, which tells you the shapes that you selected with this tool. But I didn't want to select that hexagon, so I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo that. All right, and now I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna select the hexagon here, backspace or delete. And I'm gonna do that one more time, backspace or delete. And then after using the Shape Builder tool, it may just change the color of your shape, which you can then change up here in your colors option, like so. But similar to what we did with the scissors tool, we can also do that with the line segment tool that's in Illustrator. So I'm gonna go back to where my shape tool is. I'm gonna click and hold on it, and I'm gonna select the line segment tool. All right, and now I'm just gonna create a line that goes through the square, like so, all right? And then going back to my selection tool, I can highlight both the line and the square. All right, and now I'll go back to our shape builder tool. And now we can select either this top area of the square or this bottom area here. You can select either one and it'll break it into two pieces. So I'm gonna select this top area here, so click. All right, and now I'm going back to my selection tool. And you can see that I created a cut with the line segment tool. And that line segment tool, it also broke into pieces too. Like here's one piece, I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna hold the shift key, select the other piece. And then I'm gonna get rid of those. So I'm gonna hit the backspace or delete button. All right, and as you can see, we have what looks to be a similar scissor tool effect with the line segment tool and the shape builder tool like so. And yeah, that is how you do it. That's two different ways to show you guys how to cut shapes in Illustrator. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I